a shallow recess of lush green vegetation, trees bearing nuts and ripe fruits, plants with spicy edible leaves, and a spring. After drinking, I sat down for a while on a moss-covered stone next to it, with my feet in the cold, clear, fresh mountain water, and then I indulged in the pleasure of washing the sweat and exertion of the climb off my whole body. A wonderful place, I thought. It would provide me with all I needed, should I prefer not to die from hunger and thirst, but to freeze to death from the winter's first cold. But this was still a while off. No need to worry about it now, where each day was a new gift that I was determined to make the best of. To the left and right the mountain shoulders rose, but I had done enough climbing for today. Ahead of me the ground sloped down, at a grade that made it comfortable to walk. Through the trees I could glimpse the sun and the blue of the sky, which at some line I could not clearly make out turned into the blue of the sea below. I